Welcome to a new video. This time I will show you how to use the program Vroid to PMX, which is another way to convert Vroid models to MMD. It gives them a better overall look and the best structure. First go to the link in the description and download the program. Then unzip it inside its very own folder. Now export your Vroid model. But it is very important that you export it as the 0.0, .0 version. And that is because the version 1.0 is very different and most programs do not support it. Very well, here I got several models to convert. Now I will execute the program with the English shortcut. Now click here and select the model you want to convert. Now click here and the model will convert. In the end there will be a folder with a folder inside it and inside that folder there will be the model alongside all its textures and the physics settings. And just like that you can import the model to MMD. The program will add some extra expressions and it will divide some in left and right. Some will look good, others not so much. It will depend on the model. And sadly here's where the first problem comes in. The model only works with the female base of Vroid. If you try to convert a male model, it will give you this error and the model will not even convert. The same thing will happen with no Vroid models. And to make sure everything is alright, I will add a motion. At first sight we can see that the skirt is out of place and that the hair has no physics. And just like the program says, if you want the model to have physics, you need another program called PMX Taylor, which is made by the same person. You can get it from the same page or from the link in the description. Once again unzip it inside its very own folder and execute it in English. Click here and select the converted PMX model. Then go to the second tab, click here and select all these. Accept, it may take a while to load. Once that's done, return to the first tab, click here and it should create a new PMX file with physics. But in case it doesn't work like it was in my case, you must use PMX Editor to fix the problems. First I will go to Materials to make it look better. Then I will put in the right place the dress bones, that for some reason ended up here. And now I will connect them to the hips bone. Now the skirt is in the right place. Now the hair physics must be added from scratch. First I will turn on the rigid bodies to know what it has. Luckily it has for the whole body and the hair will not be going through. First select all the hair bones. Then go to edit, bone and choose the option with the X at the end. So this one and accept. Now click the letter J and these yellow cubes will appear. Now the hair has the structure to move. Now go to the rigid body tab. Select the hair colliders and change the group to change the color. And very important, select the same group down here so the colliders don't collide with themselves. Here I set the group 5 for the hair, so I will check the number 5 box. And if you choose another number, make sure to check that same number box. You can change some settings if you want, but if you go to the preview window, this will happen. This is because the physics are done, but they are not connected to the rest of the model. And that's the function of the yellow cubes. So go to the joint tab. This part is a little confusing, so bear with me. First, you need to understand these cubes have two slots. In the first one, you set the ID of the collider they are connected to, and the second one is the ID of the collider it controls by itself, which means in the hair case, the first slot will have the ID of the head collider, and the second one will have the ID of the first hair bone in the chain. And to know the IDs, go to the rigid body tab and select the collider you want to know its ID. It will be selected at the list, and the number it has will be its ID. So I will select all the first cubes in the chains and set the ID of the head collider. And to know which rigid body the first cube controls, select the next cube in the chain and the ID will be the previous number to this one. In this case the next bone ID says 52, so the one I must set here is 51. You can also know the ID in the same way as the head. You can do the same with other parts with physics, but you must link them to the right bone. 
In the rest case, is the hips bone. Then you only need to set the smoothness, range, and the model will be ready for MMD. And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in converting other types of model to PMX, you can check this other video. See you next time.